Hi, my name is Evgeny Charlat. I am the author of Pencil Sketch. If you're watching this video, that means you're potentially interested in playing the piece. I want it to be a lot of fun for you to play, but it involves quite a few challenges, especially uh, for the first violin part, but it also affects other parts as well. So I'm here to help you out and demonstrate uh, some parts of the piece. First of all, first of all about uh, the work itself. It's, it's called Pencil Sketch for a reason, uh, because it started out as a pencil sketch. Uh, it presents musical material as though it is being sketched little by little before rendering it in full color. And it also involves some, some sounds uh, that recall scraping uh, of pencil on paper. Uh, and finally, it uses pencils as, as a tool. And uh, the first question is uh, that, that David Harrington asked me uh, is what kind of pencil and uh, what kind of eraser, etc. <laughs> but uh, it's really very simple. It has to be uh, a pencil like this one, number two pencil uh, that you're familiar with. It really does need to have an eraser. Uh, it also needs to have this kind of metal part, kind of a metal casing uh, that is sometimes used um, to hit the string. It needs to be full length, meaning that uh, don't sharpen it and use only half of it. Uh, use the full pencil, but do sharpen it at one end because that is going to be how you grip the pencil on, on this side in most cases. So uh, that's first thing is to find the right tools. Uh, you can experiment a little bit. Here I have a pencil that uh, is round, perfectly round, has cars on it. Uh, you may use that one. Uh, also, there are some, I guess, octagonal pencils uh, that could be easier for you to sort of um, get, find the right spot and stay in that spot when you press it on, on the string. So it's really up to you to experiment. So that's first thing. Secondly, if you're the first violinist in the quartet, uh, first of all, my condolences. I'm very sorry, but you're gonna have to relearn how to play violin. Uh, you'll be playing violin, putting it on your, in your lap, and without being able to actually finger the notes. So you'll be stopping the string with the pencil, uh, like this. Like this, and hitting it with the right hand. So left hand is going to press on the strings, and the right hand pencil is going to be beating the strings. All right, so that's not all. You'll also need to retune your violin. As you can hear, it's not the standard tuning. It's G, D, B flat, D. All right. And it's very important that you tune very carefully. And when you tune, make sure that your D strings match Okay, and that your uh, third between B flat and D is as close as possible to a pure major third. Also, make sure that you tune to, uh, to other instruments. All right, so tuning is gonna be very important and you, you may want to spend some time on that. So the first thing I'm gonna demonstrate is uh, pencil press. And this is at the beginning of the piece. Uh, the first violinist plays the melody 
It's marked Recitative, and uh, like I said, it's a pencil sketch, so we don't really hear the melody as it should be heard, uh, with in full sound, uh, with vibrato. Uh, we hear little contours of it, uh, and we may struggle to actually hear what the melody really is behind it. So, here's the recitative at the beginning of the piece, and the best, what, what I recommend is putting your violin in such a way that the neck rests on your left knee, uh, and that uh, everything is balanced, uh, preferably that the strings be as level as possible, but this angle is okay too. Uh, and what you'll do is you'll find the first chord, which is at G, and you'll be pressing with the left hand exactly perpendicular to the neck of the instrument. So all everything is happening in exactly perpendicular to the neck as you slide up and down. And you'll be adjusting entirely by ear. That's the, 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 the only guide you'll have. So here it goes. Find it and go. Later on, after the recitative is over, uh, the first violin is playing the accompaniment to the aria, uh, where the melody is now in the second violin. Now this is kind of a, a fake guitar. You could really think about this instrument as a kind of a combination of uh, a lap uh, slide guitar, which is... Uh, uh, I don't have any frets, unfortunately, so you really have to guess. Uh, and uh, uh, a gypsy instrument like cymbalom, uh, where you really use it as uh, strings as percussion instrument. In the aria, I recommend using uh, using the pencil in this direction with a narrow end pointed. Uh, pointed in this in this this way and I'll explain to you why if in recitative we were just really holding down all the strings up and down in the aria section you'll have to really find the right angle of the of the pencil as it uh, as you understand the strings are arched so sometimes you'll hold it like this, sometimes you'll move it to this string, depending on which notes you have to press. Uh, but just like with recitative, the movement is always in perpendicular to the neck. If you feel that it's completely out of tune, then you'll just have to tune the, the instrument better. Uh, in, so in the aria, you'll have to first find the, the low note, the B flat and make sure that it's tuned to the open strings B flat and D. And uh, use this pencil to hit some of the strings, sometimes two at a time, sometimes three at a time, sometimes just one alone.
like this. Of course, with a transposed instrument, uh, you may be wondering, well, how do I find the notes? How do I know where to hit? And uh, uh, the best thing to do is to go by ear, and uh, you'll hear, of course, that every time you slide, you can listen to uh, the sound approaching the next note. So anticipate the next note. Uh, for instance, in the recitative, you can practice slowly uh, just hitting the chords and sliding from chord to chord like this. Uh, also with your own voice, so practice singing. Like this. The next technique I want to show is what I call two pencil bounds. Uh, in this technique, you will use left hand pencil that's going to bounce or ricochet, um, but what initiates the bounce is the right hand pencil. So I recommend gripping it this way, just like that but also relaxing your hand, relaxing your hand enough so that you can um, uh, really uh, allow the pencil to freely uh, to, and to control rebound. So this way, uh, you'll notice that sometimes this is notated as uh, with one slash, and what I imply by that is you have, essentially it's a double stroke, but with pencils. And sometimes it will be two slashes, which implies a faster, faster bounce. You can see that you uh, you can regulate uh, not only the frequency of the bounds, but you can also regulate uh, the um, the volume, and it's a kind of a combination of different factors. Uh, you can really experiment with the placement of uh, the pencil on the string. All right, of course, it's a, it's a different sound here. It's a brighter sound here. Uh, you can also experiment with the grip, maybe tensing it up a little bit, which makes it more frequent bounce. You can also uh, find a different angle uh, and distance of left pencil away from the string. Um, and really experiment with that. Uh, and this really, uh, when things intensify in the culmination, three players in the quartet are doing this technique. Uh, also, you'll find a much uh, softer version of that early on. The rhythm that you see notated is the rhythm of right pencil hits. This is very important. At letter M, you find uh, a two pencil bounds in second violin, and two pitches are notated. One is the, low, the G string, but also this high D that you can barely hear. But if you press, you can hear it better. and then the pitch changes. Like that. Another pencil technique that is used uh, in, uh, towards the end 
uh, also letter M, in the first violin part, is uh, fingered, but using this as colenio, uh, essentially just ricochet. Like that, and of course, you really hit, have to hit hard, and but also keeping the hand uh, pretty uh, relaxed to get to get a good bounce, uh, really sonorous, uh, and also sometimes what helps is really imagining a bow motion. Another technique I want to demonstrate is uh, at letter E, this is in first violin part, uh, you're sort of becoming a percussion accompaniment to the melody that's uh, in viola. And um, for this one, you would be, uh, you need to mute the strings, well in this case G string, and just let it bounce, let it ricochet. I'm also considering maybe doing it on the first string. I haven't really decided, but you can see that this one is much thinner sounding. Another technique uh, I'm using here, one that doesn't involve a pencil, uh, is a bow stutter, which really has also the effect of sort of creating, creating a dotted line rather than a sustained line. Uh, and. Uh, and for this, uh, this is prominent in um, second violin and viola parts. So what you do, you want to make sure that the bow is well rosined and find the right note, starting note. Here again, you're going to have to really use your ears to adjust and not only adjust to uh, the notes that you play, but also adjust them to the notes uh, of the other uh, quartet members. So in, in the case of um, a second violin part, the starting pitch is A. So find it and then press with the bow. And in effect, what that does is that it stops the string at the right pitch, but move the bow really slowly and use the left hand to kind of anchor your bow in place. So when you have to move to another note, you use the left hand to Now, uh, if, you pre if you move too fast, you'll scratch. That's not the sound that I want. It needs to really be those. Like this. If you're playing second violin, uh, at the beginning of the piece, you'll be using the pencil this way. You'll use the pencil to stop G and D string at pitches C and G. And you can check that. So C and G, really high up on the strings. And this is really to facilitate uh, a kind of arpeggiato uh, passage where um, you, you'll be changing from one harmony to another. But meanwhile, those two notes will always be the same in each chord. And so... Like this. 
Alright, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy playing Pencil Sketch.